everybody, Candace here with Greener Farms DIY. Today we're going to talk a little bit about making yourself a framed piece of art with your embroidery work, or maybe you just want to frame a piece of pretty fabric that you found at the store. So, um, it's pretty simple to do um, framed embroidery. Uh, the first step is stitch your design out and then back your design with another piece of uh, stabilizer and then fabric so it's nice and sturdy so it will it will stand up in that frame when you glue it in and then you're going to put a wood frame around it now this is just a, a design that I leave on my counter but I just wanted to show you for the video kind of the process that we're going to be going through so how do you get to a finished frame well first you buy one of these canvases and these come pre-wrapped at the store and any of the craft stores carry these and all I do is I just cut right on the other side of the canvas you know just straight down right here this outer canvas off so I just come all the way down and then I just rip the rest of it off so basically what we're doing is we're cutting off this entire canvas then once I'm done with the canvas and it's been removed, it's going to expose this really pretty frame below it. Now this frame is not stained. It doesn't have any stain on it. So you need to get a stain and you need to put a pair of gloves on and then rub with a cloth that stain on to achieve whatever color it is that you want. So the stain that I used on it is this Minwax water-based wood stain. And this one was really nice for cleanup. I used uh, gloves when I applied it, so it was uh, very simple. I didn't worry about sanding my frame down. These frames are actually pretty nice. And I did not fill the little holes down here, but you could put some wood putty in those holes and fill them up before you stain. So once you get your frames all done, and if you buy the large pack, I think 10 of them come in a pack, and some packs are six or eight, depends on the size. Then you know which size you're going to be stitching your design on. So the first part is making sure um, you prepare your frame properly. It's dry. And if you want to have it hang, um, there's hanging hardware that you can also buy for hanging. But these fit really nice in those plate holders that you can get at the dollar store. So then the second piece is going to be, you know, putting your design inside it and deciding are you going to swap it out or is it always going to be in that frame? And if it's always going to be in that frame, then you can go ahead and um, hot glue it down since nobody's going to be taking it off the frame. And then it simply looks really nice and finished on the back side. And that's why we cover the back up. So then from the front side, when it's being looked at, it's just a design inside the frame. So it's very, very simple um, to do that if you're just going to um, have it not be removable. Now, if you want it removable, um, I just did a real quick example for you. And so, um, you know, you can frame them so you can put your, your stitched art into an actual frame. Uh, this one's really nice. I stitched this design. It's a mural that I designed. Uh, this is Mirror Lake right next to my house. And I stitched that out and I put it in a frame and um, I keep this upstairs in my living room. And so you can make them really fancy or you can do these wood, these wood frames. So if you want it removable, um, that's really simple to accomplish. You got to figure out what it is you want to stitch it on. And I went ahead and stitched it on felt today. And you're going to install cam snaps on the back of your frame. Now, you could use a hot glue gun, but uh, the hot glue gun is not going to stick. You're going to need to go with something a little bit more industrial and stronger. This Gorilla Glue is really good. Um, it bonds virtually anything it says now this you do want to wear some gloves it does take a little bit of time to dry so I recommend setting your snaps first and then with your fabric coming through and then setting um, where on your fabric your snaps are going to be this allows you to have a removable panel so let's say you want one of these for every single month and on Green Roof Farms DIY I do a lot of monthly designs 
and you can stitch those right on a piece of fabric that's sized for your frame and then that way you could just swap them out as the year goes on and you just have one frame. You just want to make yourself um, trace on a piece of paper the size of your frame and then where your cam snaps are so when you go to make a new one you can easily put those snaps where they belong. So this would be if you're going to have a removable panel. The other option is to take hook and loop um, Velcro down the sides and have it actually Velcro in place. So you can use the Gorilla Glue or you can use uh, the hook and loop Velcro. Um, both are effective for having a removable panel. You can also set some extra little snaps on the top so you can snap in and out cute little felties for each of the months. Um, so like if you're going into um, Halloween or October, you'll use, um, you know, maybe a ghost or a pumpkin or something like that. So I hope that makes sense on making the removable panel. Now the way I made the removable panel is I went ahead and chose to do um, felt for it. And I just bought some basic felt sheets and then there's stabilizer on the inside so it makes it nice and sturdy when all the pieces come together. I used um, heat and bond light to bond all of my pieces together. So this was in the middle, um, the heat and bond light. And then that allowed it to not come apart when I'm moving it. So this actually feels like one big piece of felt right now. And that's because I bonded these two pieces together. The other thing that you can do is you can coordinate your snaps. So in here is a snap pack and there's the black ones. So if I was color coding, you know, I didn't want to see the white snaps, I could use the black snaps right here. And then let's say I stitched orange for October and I stitched green for Christmas, for December, and you know, I did maybe, you know, this blue for um, 4th of July, you know, if I decided to restitch the design, I could match my snaps so that way on the back side nobody would actually see those snaps. But I don't think they look that unsightly. So, you know, it's, it's pretty simple to make these reusable little signs. Um, the dollar store has cute little plate holders. Um, you would just simply put it in a plate holder or you would put a hanging bracket on them. And I'll just recap real quick how we did it. So you just get a canvas. You're going to cut the canvas off the frame. So then you have nothing on the frame. You're left with just a frame. You can go through and you can wood fill with wood putty these holes right here. And then you'll want to sand it down or with a cloth right while it, before it dries, kind of wipe it so it doesn't bubble up right there. But get those all filled. And then you're going to take the Minwax water-based wood stain, whatever color you choose, or any um, wood stain. Stain your frames, and then you're going to continue with putting your snaps in place. Um, if you want them reusable, you're going to want to use the Gorilla Glue or something industrial. If you don't want to have a reusable panel that goes in it, then you're simply just going to glue it into your frame. So once you're all done, you can add extra cam snaps around it so that way you can embellish as time goes on. Um, and that's how you're going to make your reusable frame. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning into the YouTube channel for Green Roof Farms DIY and for subscribing. And once I hit a thousand people, a thousand subscribers, I will be able to do these videos live with you so that they're not pre-recorded and I can answer any of the questions that you have live on camera. Thanks so much for supporting me as a digital design artist again. And don't forget to join the Facebook group for Green Roof Farms DIY. And I can't wait to see your projects when you get those completed. Have a great day, guys.